Welcome into another Purple Insider Extra. This Purple Insider Extra brought to you by the Park Tavern in St. Louis Park, the Twin Cities entertainment destination. Check out the event schedule over at parktavern.net. Matthew Collar, last week against the Bears defense, Jets quarterback Mike White threw for 315 yards, three touchdowns, and zero interceptions. The week before, Zach Wilson completed nine total passes in a 10-3 loss to the Patriots. So how does Mike White change the Jets as their starting quarterback? Well, one thing that should be noted is that Mike White got to play the Chicago Bears defense, which traded away two of their best players in the middle of the season and is about as bad as you could get. In fact, according to PFF, Mike White was only pressured three times during that entire game, which is a shockingly low amount. So the Vikings do have a tendency to get after quarterbacks a little better than that with Zadarius Smith, who's been dealing with a knee injury, but Zadarius Smith gets some time in between Thanksgiving and this game against the Jets to recover. Of course, Daniil Hunter is having a tremendous season overall, and the Vikings likely to get Delvin Tomlinson back to rush up the middle, and he has surprisingly been one of the best pass rushers at the defensive tackle position, according to PFF. So that's where it has to start in facing Mike White is can you actually make him play a little bit under pressure? But what I think we saw from the Jets last week is if you can get their playmakers the ball, most specifically Elijah Moore and Garrett Wilson. These guys are talented wide receivers, top draft picks of the Jets in recent years. But Zach Wilson just simply was not finding them, not finding ways to get away the ball. He was throwing interceptions. He was getting sacked. So White can be the ultimate game manager where he doesn't have to do anything more than just execute the plays that are called and throw the ball in their direction. And then you're going to get a lot more than you got out of Zach Wilson. The thing about Mike White, though, is that he once threw for over 400 yards and then threw four interceptions or something like that, you know, before. And I mean, that's the thing with backup quarterbacks or journeyman quarterbacks is that there often are high ends, but there are usually low ends as well. So I think the Vikings have to find ways to pressure him because he isn't one of these freak athlete quarterbacks that's going to run away from the pressure and make a bunch of plays. He has to be in rhythm. They have to be able to run play action, which means if the Vikings can slow down the run game of the New York Jets, I think that's going to make things much harder for Mike White than it was last week. But I think this is also a rare bad break for the Vikings when it comes to quarterbacks. I mean, most of the time they've gotten to face a lot of backups, but you know, in this case, Mike White really isn't a backup. He's probably the best quarterback on that roster, even better than what's left of Joe Flacco and clearly better than Zach Wilson, who was lost in many ways, not only on the field, but also in his <laughs> post-game press conferences as well. So I think that the team has a, a real incentive, the New York Jets do, to play for Mike White and to show that, it, hey, it wasn't us. It was that last quarterback, and uh, they really did that last week. We'll see if they can carry it over to this week. That's been another Purple Insider Extra for Bring Me the Sports. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the Purple Insider Podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Talk to you next time.